Welcome to Creative Piano Academy with me, Joseph Sakura, and today this is the long-awaited part two to the left-hand piano video I did quite a while ago now called Get Your Iron Audi On. You've all been telling me that you want part two to this to turn into a really nice piece of music, so check this out. So I hope you like that and you want to learn how to play it, stay tuned. Remember, if you haven't done so already, to smash that subscribe button as well as that little bell thingy next to it so you know when I upload new videos. Now, the obvious thing to say first of all is if you haven't seen part one, do go and watch that video. I'll put it in the cards for you. It'll go over exactly how to play this left hand pattern step by step. Uh, but just uh, so we're on the same page, this is what it sounded like. So we have a really nice three time. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, and we explored two different positions that we can play this pattern in like this, okay? Now, the first thing I want to do in this video is take a look at that left hand pattern and how we can move it around to anywhere we want using any different chords that we want, okay? The second thing is I'm going to show you a very concrete step-by-step -step piece of music that you can play, you can learn from, you can just copy and just sound impressive and learn from it. And so there's definitely something concrete that you can just learn and take away from this video. And the third and final thing I'm gonna do is show you how we can expand on that melody and take it further and get creative with it. So first of all, I showed you this pattern in the A flat position here, A flat major position and the C minor position like this. Now, for the purposes of the piece that we're going to learn, we're actually gonna be in the key of E flat today, okay? But uh, there's actually a really nice trick you can do to just play this pattern using any triad at all. Now, learning about triads and what those are is well outside the scope of this video, but if you wanna learn more about that, check out the cards. I've got a video showing you how you can work out the triads for any single chord on the keyboard. So make sure you take a look at that. But let's say we have our G major chord, okay? It could be any chord we want, pick absolutely any chord. Let's say for now it's G major. All we do is we play a normal G major triad and we take that middle note and we shove it up an octave, okay? So instead of down here, we're now up here. Okay, I'm gonna use my third finger here, actually it's a bit easier. So we just plug those notes into the pattern now, okay? So the pattern would be G, D, B, D, B, G, D, B, D, B, okay? And that's all there is to it, okay? We could take another chord, let's take uh, C sharp minor here, okay? So we'll shove this E up an octave and we get this. Okay? So that's how you can work out how to play this pattern with any chord. Now for the purposes of this video, we're going to be in the key of E flat. So I want to show you the chords that you can use to just start getting uh, experimental and playing around with moving this pattern wherever you want, okay? So uh, our chords, our E flat major, which is an E flat, an E, and a B flat. F minor, F, uh, F minor, which is F, A flat, and C. G minor, G, B flat, D. Um, A flat major, which is A flat, C, and E flat. B flat major, which is B flat, D, and F. C minor, C, E flat, G. And D diminished here, which is D, F, and A flat. If you don't know what diminished chord is, just leave it out. It's, don't worry about it for now. But if you're feeling confident, add it in. And then back to E flat, which is E flat, G, and B flat, okay? So with that in mind, you can now play around with that pattern, moving it to any position you want in the key of E flat. For instance, I could start off with E flat. I could go to B flat here. And to A flat. That's the one we already know. C minor. F minor. G minor. And back to E flat. So you see, all I'm doing is I'm just playing around with them. Okay, diminished. And then back to the uh, E flat. So that's the first thing really, guys. Just have a play around. Um, 
with all those chords. Uh, how do they sound? How do they feel when you play them? Uh, which chords do you like next to each other? Just start sort of experimenting and getting used to how those different chords sound next to each other. Now I said I'd show you a really nice sort of concrete piece of music just in case you don't want to particularly get that creative yet, you just want to play something that sounds nice, take it away and impress people with it. Um, so check it out. Okay, so that's our little phrase that's just going to keep repeating itself. Now, one thing to note, I'm going to show you this melody in the right hand first. I am playing it as octaves, like this, um, and I do, <laughs> this is going to be another one of those videos where I'll link to everything else, but I do have another video about playing octaves, uh, it's in the cards, and how you can um, spread them out to create that really nice ethereal sound that I think you'll really enjoy, so do check that out as well. Um, but essentially, um, the notes, if you're not comfortable with octaves yet, is just a B flat, B flat, B flat, A flat, G, F. Okay? So let's just do that again. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And on the six, we go to the E flat. And then we essentially repeat that rhythm again. We go one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so the rhythm repeats itself, but on the second time around we got E flat, E flat, E flat, F G F, E flat. Okay, so really slowly, and I will uh, I'll count this out as well. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six and then we repeat it. Okay, so back to the uh, back to the B flat. Now my fingering right there was all over the place, so let's just take a look at some solid fingering you can use. Fingering is not set in stone, guys, because you don't know, technically you might not know where you're gonna go with this, which means, you know, you wanna be thinking ahead and altering your fingering, but for this particular melody and this particular pattern, something really easy we can do. We can just put our, spread our fingers out over all of these notes like this. So thumb on the E flat, uh, second, uh, second finger on the F, third finger on the G, fourth finger on the A flat, little finger on the B flat, okay? Like this. And we get this. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 So I'm not doing anything fancy with the fingering there, guys, okay? Now, once you've got used to that fingering with those single notes, you can plug it into the left hand uh, just as it is, which um, I'm about to show you in a second. But if you did want to take that pattern, that, that, that melody, a little bit further and uh, play it using octaves, then nice and simply, all we need to do is use our thumb and our little finger, so that's our first and our fifth finger, and just spread them out, okay? So it's come down to it as like a roll, um, like this, okay? Six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, if you uh, don't, don't, if you don't want to do the roll, then you can just play them as straight octaves. Okay. So um, that's the that's the right hand melody. So what's the chord progression I'm using in the left hand? Well, I'm going to start off with the A flat major here. I'm going to go twice on this one, and then I'm going to move up to the C minor and then to the B flat major, okay? So really slowly, we get this. A flat major, five, six, C minor, two, three, B flat major, five, six, okay? So notice my fingering. I've got my five, three, and one, five, two, one, five, three, one, okay? So again, really nice and slowly. This is our first time around, two, three, Now for the second half, we're going A flat, A flat, and then instead of going to C minor, we're going to jump down to E flat major, which is our home, it's our key, it's our tonal center, it's where we go, oh, that sounds nice. So that's the idea here. And then B flat major, okay? So there's a nice little hop for you to get used to here. 
we're going from the A flat to the E flat to the B flat like this. And so it's nice, uh, we're jumping around quite nicely here to get you used to moving that left hand around. So let's put all that together. We've got A flat, A flat, C minor, B flat, A flat, A flat, E flat, B, uh, B flat, okay? And then the whole thing repeats, okay? Now, if we add that left, uh, if we add the right hand in, we get this. And I've kept it quite, um, I've kept the melody rhythm relatively simple, okay? I know that's subjective, but relatively simple because we come down at the same points on the bar uh, most of the time. So we get this, we come down together, together, together. Uh, so here, that's where it gets a little complicated. Now together, together together, together, okay? So I'll play it really, really slowly and I'll count for you, okay? So we get one, two, three, four, five, six. 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 One, two, three, and four, and five, and six. One, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six. So that's our nice little pan, which wants to repeat over and over again. Now, if you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed with all that, then please don't, you know, just calm down and take little uh, bite-sized chunks out uh, and practice those. So for instance, I could just take this first bit and this movement to the C minor and stop there. I could just, just make sure that I can move nice and smoothly in the left, okay? Get that, and then I might choose to add that bit in until I get that. Notice where it falls here, G, E flat, okay, in the left. So I'll analyze where the notes fall in my uh, right hand and then make sure I've got that solid and then I can carry on. So I might, I might then start on the C minor to here and I'll just practice that bit, yeah? Till I've got it. The idea is that you take those manageable chunks step by step and get used to them and you can plug them into my best adult piano practice routine, link in the cards. You can sign up to my email list and grab yourself a copy of it. It's really good. It'll show you exactly how you can take little bite-sized pieces like this, plug it into a practice routine. You know exactly how and what to practice. Do check that out because it will make your life easier and I have included three routines in that video for you as well. So the last thing I want to go over is how we can take that melody, expand on it and maybe get a little bit more creative with it. So. The very first thing we need to know is what notes can we use? And we're in the key of E flat. That means we need to use the notes out of the E flat major scale. Not all the time, we might, we might want to explore other things, but for the purposes of what I'm about to show you, we'll use the E flat major scale, which is E flat here with our third finger, thumb underneath for the F, second finger on the G, third finger on the A flat, fourth finger on the B flat, thumb underneath for the C, and then second finger on the D, back to the E flat. We come back down, four over here, three on the A flat, second on the G, F, and then E flat, okay? So that is something in and of itself that you can get used to practicing, okay? This is quite a difficult scale with the fingering to get used to, but it does contain all the notes that we need. Now I did come up with this right hand melody um, that I've shown you using that scale, but what if I wanted to take it different directions, take it and, you know, start experimenting with it. Well, I know what notes I can use now. So I could start out here and maybe I could go. Sounds all right. Um, uh, maybe I'll, I'll use the 
G instead. So all I'm doing here is I'm using actually using the same um, melody. Uh, sorry, I'm using the same rhythm in the right hand, and I'm just switching around those notes, putting anything I want in there. So that's something you can do. You can play around with any of those notes using that same rhythm. Now, I couldn't leave this video without showing you this very briefly because there are some people out there, I presume, who are at a stage in their piano journey where they might be able to start experimenting with this. And um, it can be really, really nice to just sit at the piano and play whatever comes into your head. So all I'm gonna say is you can use any of the chords in the E flat major scale, okay, that we've gone over at the beginning of this video. And you can use any rhythm you want, and you can use any of the notes out of the E flat major scale, put them together, and it'll sound quite nice, okay? And this is this is up to you to start experimenting and working out what sounds nice. Do not do that unless you are comfortable with everything else in the video. I'm only throwing this in there for those of you that want to give it a go, okay? So, for instance, it could sound like this if I just play around with it. Some might not sound nice, but that's the point. So you get the idea guys, you know, just start playing, start experimenting. Um, I really hope you've liked this video because it's been an absolute blast for me putting this together. This is something I, I truly enjoy doing. I love being able to just sit in front of the piano and play whatever comes into my head. So that's the idea, or that's one of the principles behind most of the videos that I put up on this channel because I really want you guys to experience that. It's a, it's a wonderful feeling. So hope you've enjoyed this video. Like the video if you've liked it, subscribe to the channel and I will see you, I will see you in the next video.